Hello folks, welcome back to another week here on the channel. My name is Joel Duggan and we are on the Citadel server here in West Hill working on this two and a half year old medieval town build. Getting real close to finishing it up. We've been working on the uh, West Bridge here for the last couple streams. We're going to continue with that today. I do like the Deep Slate. I think we're going to try and do a little bit more with that where we can. Uh, it's going to involve, I think, some more blocks like tough and cobblestone as well but i think we can get there i do want to take a crack at the bridge itself today though i want to try and see if i can finish those details cosmic dancer kicking off the stream gifting a tier one sub to toy bear and i believe that that was six months of tier one twitch chat tells me that but streamlabs desktop does not thank you so much cosmic wow six months of subs to toy bear toy bear i know you're in the in the discord i think you're in the discord uh, make sure that uh, folks that have a sub, if you get a gift sub, if you want to use your Prime sub, <clears throat> pardon me, they all point towards the Discord. You can connect your Discord into your Twitch accounts and hang out with everybody in between streams. And I haven't taken advantage yet, but on the 15th of April, I redeemed a free month of Nitro. Nitro allows me to stream to Discord in 1080p. So I may be able to test out some uh, patron only streams, some Twitch member only streams where I wouldn't be streaming to Twitch. I'd be streaming directly to the discord. I would more likely be doing things like really chill stuff where I wouldn't be talking a whole lot, but it would be more of like a work along with Joel, or maybe if I get back into satisfactory and I have to crunch some numbers and stuff, then I might be able to do that, uh, on a, uh, a discord stream. So, and I've never done them before. So I, I want to try at least one. Uh, I tried it before. It was extraordinarily laggy and it was also uh, 720p, which was garbage. So <clears throat> I'm hoping to find another solution. It is probably going to be the excuse that I want to use to set up OBS Studio instead of using Streamlabs Desktop. Uh, I'm trying to find some ways to streamline my computer experience and make sure that things are a little bit more friendly as far as the um, resources available to me so um, I want to try that out so that's the plan anyway so at some point between now and May 15th because that's when the free nitro is over um, I want to I want to give that a go and in um, in regards to um, milestones and stuff like that on patreon those are going away on May 1st uh, patreon is no longer offering milestones as part of their you know, on-site tracking. So I'm going to have to take a, a look at the milestones that we have on patreon.com slash Joel Duggan and move them into the Discord. And then we can set our own goals, our own community goals, I guess is what we'll call them. I'll, um, if I don't come up with a better name, then that's probably a decent name. Uh, so we'll do that. Uh, and then hopefully we can assign maybe Discord Nitro to a specific level of support uh, along the way. So you can see here we tried uh, to add some relief to the bridge here and i don't like dislike it i feel like it could be a little bit better uh the other side we tried to do it but we did it with uh what do we do it with just the holes we just made the drainage holes and i can't do both if i do the ridges then the drainage holes kind of disappear uh they wouldn't be they wouldn't be there which would be fine so i'd have to choose between the two but we've got two other sections. We've got this section up here, and then we've got um, another section on the other side. And I'm wondering if I might be able to try a couple of things here. First, obviously, my inventory is very full of stuff. I need to just empty out a few things here. Coarse dirt. Uh, rooted dirt. Roots. Those. Mangrove. Uh, I'll keep those, keep those, keep the cracked bricks. Do I have more of those? I do. I've got plenty of stone bricks. Stone, I'm going to grab some more andesite. We seem to use a lot of that. And I'm going to try to bring some stairs of all the kinds and some walls as well. Do I have a temporary box? I do. 
That needs to be green. Uh, die box. I really wish you could die stuff uh, like shulker boxes and things. Like by right clicking on them in the world, I think that would be cool. But you have to pick them up. Keep the deep slate. I'm going to grab some tough. And I've got some cobble. I've got some gravel. I love that trim on the side of the bridge says Gray Obi. Thanks very much. I'm glad you like it. When you learn how to use OBS, can you show me? Well, yeah. No, I that could be a fun thing to do, would be some tutorials. I mean, there's great, there's a lot of good tutorials online too. So this is something that I, I sort of like. Um, I'd like to do more with these pillars. They don't seem to be quite, you know, as cool looking as I want them to be. Um, but I thought like, instead of going with the horizontal, I wonder if we could do some sort of vertical stuff here to, to have this look a little bit cooler. So one of the things that I was thinking about doing, and I still have some ender pearls, was like taking a look at the central spot here and then what if we had like all this was carved out and we could have i guess we'd have to get rid of all this too Right. So one thing we could try to do is to have like larger pieces of relief. I was looking a lot at the uh, the stuff that Pixlerus had going on in his uh, castle gray scale this week on the spun chunks. And so by adding in more arches where we can. Hmm. So maybe we don't do like wall detail. Maybe it actually needs to be like a proper a proper archway i don't want to copy what i've got before but we could at least give it a go because if i go in like a full block that could also help with some of the details so if i remove this because that could give us some texture that could help differentiate from this so i think it was three slabs uh, I don't have the right kind of slabs. Hey, Cal, how's it going? Good to see you. Dynia MCE, good to see you as well. I want those. I have stairs, yes. So this was three slabs, it looks like. <clears throat> yeah, three slabs, two full blocks, and then another slab. So we could do the same thing here using this, this block as the center, which I think it is. One, two, three, four. Four, five, six. I count that right. One, two, three, four, five, six. And we've got one, two, three, four, five. So it's not quite the center, but it's close. And then it would be two full blocks and another slab. Now, this wouldn't necessarily be stone. We could make this be uh, like a combination of like tough and cobble.
Oop, wrong thing. So that actually is not too bad. I think it might need, I think I might need to approach it as a, a different kind of arch. Um, it might have to be where this is like long. I might have to make this more, <clears throat> more ornate, like a little bit more uh, steep. So probably underneath this, we would go with a stair and make sure we have two, like a stack of two there. It's probably what I need to do. But I feel like that helps tremendously. Let's pop this back up here. I guess we could get rid of those, but whatever. We've got lots of resources. I'm not worried about it. And then maybe a stair here. So it's good, but it feels a little bit funny because of the position of this. I wonder if I need to move that out by one. That would remove that lantern though. Yeah, it feels a little bit off center. Or I could just move the whole thing back by a bit and have it be not centered on that, which may or may not be a good idea. Updated the spawn chunk notification. Thank you very much, Cosmic. Yes, new episode of the spawn chunks, and it is a big episode. Pixel Riffs and I did our full uh, review of uh, of Minecraft Legends. I have not done any PvP yet, and I've not tried the challenge maps. Myths and Legends, I think they're called. Actually, you know what? That looks okay. This doesn't look too terrible, like off-center by a block. I feel like um, it's better balanced with the towers. I don't think I want to push those out to a full 3x3. Three three. If I did that, I'd have to find another place for that lantern. I mean, it's easy to do. I just kind of really like where those lanterns are. Yeah, if that popped out to here, the lantern would have to be... I guess it would be on the inside of the bridge again, so the lantern would end up being in this position, and then this position would have to have a thing on it. I don't mind that. It, it creates a little bit more interest. Uh, it makes this feel a little bit narrow, but it creates a little bit more visual interest. You know, you think about this shape being very plain, but then this shape kind of going back out again. And then it opens up again down here. And I'm happy with where those are. Yeah, you know, that might be a thing to try. Mm. 
bumper episode this week? As in like, as a good one? I don't know what you mean by bumper. British slang. <laughs> All right, so that would be out like that. And then we would come down here and push this over this way. And then this would no longer be over this way like that. This would be back like this. We'd have stairs there. That makes that even. And it does give us another opportunity to put more vertical stuff. So we could remove those and put a vertical thing here. I think I like that. I think I like that. It makes me wonder whether I should um, remove, well, I don't want to remove the bottom. I guess I could push the bottom in. This just looks so cool. I do, I could move this in by a block and instead of having this, this relief here in the bridge, we could actually have it be inset just like that. That's tricky. We could try that on the other side. Gonna be needing some scaffolding today, I think. Long, full of information, discussion, um, and regarding the episode. Ah, okay, cool. Oh, I went in the very wrong place. Wrong, wrong, wrong. Here's where I want. So here's another opportunity we, we have to um, add some relief instead of just having it be straight. Now I could do walls in here. But I'm wondering if I could do something else as well. I know Something I noticed the Pixel Rifts had done on his, and we could try this with stone too, would be like this and then that and then something like that. Smurf588 with one, two, three, four, five gifted subs. Thanks very much, Smurf. And True Purple resubscribing at tier one for 51 months. Holy nuggets. True Purple, thank you ever so much for the support. Smurf588, thank you for the five gift subs. 50 Shades of Fie? Don't know how to say that. Gardurian, Red Sky 1, Miss Halcyon 2, and Dr. Drap. You've all received gift subs. Make sure you connect your Discord and Twitch accounts. Join us in the Discord. Look for the Joel Duggan Discord in your Discord connections after you've connected your two accounts. And it looks like we're very close to a hype train. 100 bits will kick off a hype train. So those are very blocky and very straightforward, but not terrible. I think maybe we would start them lower. So that so it's not like a half block there. Elad Jenkins, 500 bits, kicking off the hype train. Elad Jenkins is the hype train conductor. Thanks very much. That reminds me, does Pixar still put on a silly hat when a hype train happens? Cosmic Dancer says, hold my bits. 20, 20,000 bits, Cosmic. Holy nuggets. Cosmic Dancer. You're too generous. You've already done too much. <laughs> it's my... 
Gentle but grateful finger wag. <laughs> Cosmic, thank you ever so much. 20,000 bits, my goodness. What, what bit badge do you have now, Cosmic? Is it just called all the bits? <laughs> Is that where we're at? All right, so this isn't too bad. Uh, I think maybe we'll want to go with like a full block there and then we can try this stuff. Although we get into the problem of it being the same color as the bottom here. No, no, I did not say hold my bits. <laughs> Fair. Whoa. You were not invited. You were not a bit I want. Does anybody else realize that they have one eyeball? I did not know that. They have one eyeball. Gross. I got a head. I don't think I've ever had a head from one of these guys. That is, um, that's actually pretty boring. <laughs> okay. Sure. It's a Cylon. Yeah. Definitely a Cylon. Thanks ever so much, folks, for the bits in the hype train. It's a level six hype train, 87% of the way through level six, or level five, actually. I should say. Twitch needs to express that better. It is inaccurate. A what? A Cylon. Look it up. Uh, Battlestar Galactica. Uh, the old ones, they look like toasters. And they had one kind of eye scanner thing in the center of their face. I kind of wonder whether this would be better if it went all the way, like if it went down a bit and went all the way to that level, maybe. We could remove all of that. That might be a thing to give a try to. So what did we do after that? It's uh, just a slab and a stair. So that's a full block stair. I guess we would do, I decided to do a different arc, didn't I? So maybe we'll come down by a block. And then come in this much. And then where are we here? That one. Two thousand bits from Cosmic Dancer. You don't like leaving odd numbers. But Twenty thousand isn't an odd number. <laughs> Twenty thousand isn't an odd number. Uh, that was a mistake. That does not look good. So we'll have to change that angle there. Again, Cosmic, thank you so much for the absolutely epic support. And to everyone, not not just Cosmic. Eli Jenkins, Cosmic Dancer, Smurf, True Purple. You made it worse, though? <laughs> oh, because it was at 11% and it was 87%? I see what you mean. Yeah, they don't really, they're not really transparent as to what those things are worth. So what I think I want this to do is actually come in and look like it points towards the center of this. So... I feel like we need to come over by one. So we've got this here. I think maybe a slab. And then here we could do... That may or may not be good. Uh, no. 
once we hit a stair, we kind of have to start going down with stairs. So we skip the stair in favor of a full block. Cosmic Dancer. An, an, another another 20,000 bits. Cosmic. Holy crap. I really like the, that inset cobblestone on the brick column. This one? Thank you. Yeah, those are those are cobblestone walls. And there's a hollow spot in the middle so they don't do the little uh, connector thing. So it's just cobblestone walls. I can't remember what YouTube video I saw that on, but I quite like it. Wait a minute. Did Cosmic do 20? No, 2,000 and then 20,000. Cosmic Dancer. Thank you ever so much. So there's that. I think that might be too high. I think if we do that, we just have to drop the whole thing down by a block, which would give us room to do relief up there if we wanted to. Oh, come on. Get. Cosmic Dancer is just fighting with the hype train. Please ignore as per Cosmic Dancer. 5,000 bits. Cosmic, thank you. You're redonkulous. And I really appreciate it. Probably leave some of that in there. There you go, Cosmic. Nice even number. 20%. Yeah, that's not bad. If we if we copy that along, that might be worth it. It's not as much. We've lost an entire meter of detail, but that doesn't I mean I could remove this cliff. I could take the cliff down by a block too, right? Like I don't have to have the cliff this high. Something I find I do quite often in Minecraft is like I start to look at a restriction and then I realize, no, 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 I can change everything. I was playing um, Satisfactory this morning on my own, just kind of getting myself re-familiarized with my map and what needs to go where and all that stuff. And um, one of the things that I kept on running into was like, you know, immovable things in the environment. And uh, you don't have that problem in Minecraft, but my brain has got that problem right now. So maybe we can just take the top layer here off. Oh. I did that wrong. There needs to be full block, slab, lab. So full block and then a stair, I guess. Or does that look all right? No, it does not look all right. So full block and then a stair in the corner here.
You're liking the Death Cosmic? Thank you. Yoni, hello. How's it going? Two minute laps. Sorry. Uh, that's not a word. Two minutes left on the hype train. Hmm. I think I may have overdone it with how shallow the arch is. I think I might have to try to get that to come down a little bit farther. How do I do that? Is that a slab? Yeah, full block, slab. Maybe that has to be a stair. Need more ender pearls. Yeah, I want that to be one block lower. I'm going to start. That is going to go there. And then we'll do slab. And then I guess another stair here. Nope, that's not going to work. No idea. I can't tell from it that close. Nope. We might have to widen the top of it. That is the conclusion for the hype train. Level 9. 20% of the way through level 9. Thanks ever so much. Yeah, that's not what I want either. Again? We'll just try to copy that, I guess. Oh, maybe here instead we can do a stair so we get half as wide. Then it goes stair block and then slab and a full block. I remember doing something like this over the gates. The gates were tricky, uh, like the main gate. It's a nice even arch. Question is, is it too high or too low? What if instead of a slab here, we started to pull it down? So again, using the stair to get us halfway there. That's getting there. And then maybe a stair underneath this other block. Let me show off my hype train emote I got from Twitch for participating in the hype train. Oh wait, Twitch, it's the same. It's if you always had that one cosmic. I think everybody has all the emotes now. Especially if you're involved with streams that get hype trains fairly often. I'm not sure how often we get a hype train. Maybe once a, once a week? Maybe more than that. Maybe twice a week. I think we got it. 
I think that's what I want. And I think this deep slate is too much, but that's fine. We'll be able to remove some of this in a little bit. So, uh, stair, block stair. That was just another stair. Yep. All right, cool. So what's what's weird about this is um, how flat it is right there. So I think what I need to do is maybe cut down a chunk of this. Uh, and so it's actually going to end up being like we've falsified um, this this edge of the of the natural landscape. Maybe the natural landscape did not come out that far to begin with, which is cool because it makes you think like maybe maybe this landscape um, you know needed to be built up upon before it was able to be crossed, which means that it was a wider river to start with. So that's kind of cool. Um, I would say we need to remove those things in the middle, and then I'm going to take a good chunk out of this cliff which I may not have the inventory space for. Let's try those as andesite for fun. And what if I did that and another one of those? So I'm thinking at most we want like a single sort of ledge here. And we'll go out one more. And then from here, we'll drop down two. that right now granite who wants granite actually has anybody checked to see if granite goes well with the new cherry blossoms I imagine it probably does Uh, I think I'm going to use the deep slate. The cool thing about this right now, actually, is that I don't necessarily need the deep slate to go up that high. If I use the stone, then we have enough contrast between the tough and the cobblestone that this doesn't look too bad. So I may not have to. Um, it's kind of part of my reason. I wasn't loving the deep slate. It's not the easiest thing to blend in. Um, I don't mind it in the lower parts. Like, I don't mind little bits of deep slate where we have no choice but I have to figure out a better way to do it, really. Smurf, you're heading out for supper. Have a great rest of the stream. Thanks very much. Thanks for your support. Thanks for being here. Appreciate it. Hopefully we'll see you again this week. Might have overdid this a little bit. Or we could use the deep slate underneath the bridge too, right? So in a way, this is going to look a lot taller.
Is it your birthday or the Sigil's birthday? I guess I should be um, more clear on that. It's my birthday this Saturday. This Saturday coming. All right, so here's where I want to make sure I'm kind of keeping up with the slope. I'm going a little bit more gentle. I'm really not thinking too hard about that. I'm just kind of like putting in the the tough and the cobble wherever I can. And we can always streamline this a little bit. This is going to give more um, depth to our column here as well. It's going to allow us to make this fully uh, Around here. Did I make I did the corner too, I did, yeah. So we may still use deep slate in these areas just because of the contrast, but we'll see. So I might have made that too sharp. We'll see. Happy early birthday. Thanks, Em. Yeah, I think this is maybe even too far. What am I doing here? I've got two, two... One, let's go with two, one. Maybe that's about right. Gonna go need a bucket. Do I have one? No, I don't have one. You love the use of deep slate in the cliffs because it causes such a striking contrast of the gray bridge. Even just a little bit looks right. Yeah, I'm going to try to find a way to keep it, but we'll see. Uh, what was I running low on? I was running low on... I needed a bucket. That's what I wanted. <laughs> Mike tester, yeah. See, sometimes it could be cool along the bottom, but we'll have to figure it out. These could also change from regular um, bricks to something else. Oh, come on.
Hey, how's it going? McScrew Gun, good to see you. It's your birthday this Saturday. It's in the mail, I swear. Actually, to put anybody's mind at ease, um, there were a number of wonderful people who I believe have gotten together and sent in some Lego packages that's uh, going to be unboxed and uh, checked out this Saturday. And to my knowledge, anything that has been organized and sent has arrived. Um, Cosmic, you can let me know, I guess, if there's anything else in transit, but I think it's all, I think it's all here as far as I can tell. So one option we have is to use some deep slate kind of in this area here instead. What did I say? Did I say fr did, I, did I say Saturday? I meant Friday. They're going to be open on Friday. What did I say? Yeah, I think it might be better off if it's out here. I said Saturday, right? I meant my birthday is Saturday. The Lego stream is Friday. I still need to decide if I'm doing a Lego, if I'm doing a stream, a regular stream on Saturday. I don't, I don't know. I'm also wondering if this would just look good if it was straight. We can still do the base. I just wonder if the base might be better off underwater. Yeah. I think I like that better. Super straight like that. We can still do a base, but maybe we'll make the base cobble and we'll put it all underwater. Athless. Hey, Joel. Happy birthday in advance. I read about a guy in Norway the other day that had spent a huge amount of money on Lego sets and he is just keeping them in mint condition unopened. His basement is pretty full. Uh, that's where I got some of my initial Lego sets. There was a collector here in Dartmouth and he was running out of room and he was, he was in it for investment and money and toy sales and Lego did not fetch as much as action figures. At least not in the North American market. So he was moving his Lego. He was selling his Lego. And so I was getting completely unopened boxes of Lego sealed in the plastic for like 20% lower than retail. So I thought that was a good deal. Because he wasn't charging me any kind of sales tax or anything like that. I guess I don't really need those on me, do I? Do I not have any mossy cobble? I guess I don't. Sounds like a good deal. I think this guy, Norway, Norway is basically a collector. One of the sweetest sets was one of the Lego withdrew from market a long time ago after releasing it. Yeah, there's a lot of stuff like that. I have a real problem personally trying to reconcile uh, the idea of collecting something like a toy and then leaving it in a box. My brain just says like, what? No. 
that's I would rather I want to see the thing I want to build the thing I want to have some fun you know uh, do we want to try maybe a bit poking above above the water so maybe we'll put that like here I still don't like how beefy it gets in the bottom. Maybe if we cut off the corner. Oh, that's gross. Maybe we'll just leave it underwater. Do I have any slabs of the right kind? Probably not. Still not the best. But I think I like that better than this part sticking up. So we'll take this down. Missed a spot. Time for you to bridge your way across to a break when you're ready. Thanks very much, Cosmic. Yeah, see, that to me is too close. I guess I don't mind the stuff. The thing is, I think if we did this down here, we might want to do it in, in separate sections. So maybe down here... We could do, uh, like this. And I think along here. Maybe something like that? We'll see. Sorrow Lullaby, thanks very much for the follow. Appreciate it. Yeah, that doesn't look good either. Maybe we just leave it. Maybe we just... Maybe that's the solution. Keep it simple. Actually, you know, that's not bad. <laughs> It's better than anything else I've done so far. We could probably make that up of something else too. 
But as far as the shape goes. And then the fun part here, of course, we can get a little bit of this mossy cobble to climb up the wall a bit. All right. Time for me to step away for a short break for folks that are new to the channel. I do this about once an hour. It's a good thing to do when most of your job is meant to be sitting at a computer. Uh, so if you're hanging out and watching at a computer, uh, I encourage you to do the same. Grab a snack, grab a drink, maybe even grab a friend, bring them in, and we'll be back in about five or six minutes.
I am terribly sorry that you all had to listen to a honking, wandering traitor <laughs> the entire time that I was on break. Where is he? Is he underneath everything? Maybe he's up top. He must be up there. Is that or he's underneath us? There is a cavern underneath us. No, it's not here. My guess is that somebody walked across those at some point. I hear him. Is he on the roof? There he is. Okay. On the roof. Good place for him. He can stay there. You're going to have to deal with you, though. With full inventory. Anybody else? Resilient. Push him off the roof. <laughs> then he'd just have a way to get closer to me, which I do not want. So no thanks. I'm just going to let the Elytra take these. So that's an interesting way to do it. That could be a, a better way to do what I want. I don't mind the, um, I feel like it helps here, right? With the andesite and the stone being so close to the stone, I feel like we could probably, I mean, this is okay because there's, there's a geometrical kind of shift, but here I feel like the deep slate is okay down there. This is okay. It's looking a little bit sparse. We could add um, a, a vine going up it. That could be, that could be good too. And what if we changed some of this to, to cobblestone? we like that better as a different material or, or does it make sense that to give like a foot to to the actual thing i mean we could still texture it and give it like cracked and you know mossy mossy bits i think i like it better as as a brick we'll just we'll change it to be a more interesting combination of textures maybe We could also maybe try to lower the corners or something, but now, okay. Yeah, and then maybe one or two of these could be like a cobblestone here and there, right?
think that looks okay. Devin Scarada, hello, hello. Hope you're having a good day. I know that people can't often um, stay long during the week because, you know, it's kind of the middle of the workday in North America, but I really appreciate all the regulars that pop by for like, you know, that little bit, you know, some people come by and what I'm assuming is like their lunch break or something. That kind of stuff is always really cool. All right, so one thing I don't like now is this strip because it's too similar to this. Uh, so we are going to try something a little bit different through there and that is going to involve some scaffolding, I think. Thankfully, we can put this stuff in water, which is nice. Oh, wait a minute. I wanted to do alternating. Oh, yes, the rain it is back. So that... And then stair, and then upside down stair, and then that again. Hmm. Not as cool as I thought it was going to look. By itself, it's cool. But strung together, it's not the best. We could try something else, too. We could try um, another pattern that I saw Pixel Rifts use on his tower. I'm totally stealing all of these ideas from a screenshot that Pix shared on Monday, by the way. <laughs> Just as a test. So we could try that goes like that. Painstaking, but it could pay off in the end. Eh, it's a cool pattern, and I want to remember that I can do it, but I don't think it necessarily works for this bridge, if that makes sense. It could also just be the wrong texture. We could do it with um, stone stairs, too. Devin Scarada subscribing at tier two for 22 months. Getting close to two years at two tier. Thanks very much, Devin. Really appreciate that. Chiseled stone brick. No, we've already used those. We've used those in the, um, in these, in the, um, the bridge deck. And it looks repetitive when you put it out here because there's one there and you can't see it. There's another one there. So putting them down here looks weird. I don't mind the andesite because we've used it in other places. So we've used the andesite uh, here in the tops of these. So I like the andesite, but I just, I need to find a way to like make this feel, I still want to maintain like the vertical aspect of it too. I could just go for a full like full block of relief rather than some sort of pattern could do that too F 
Finally, I can sleep. No, we're sticking with the medium gray palette. Um, basalt and all the darker stuff tends to look too dark. We had, well here, for example, there's um, there's deep slate over here. We tried deep slate on this side. And I think it's too dark. I don't think it matches the rest of the bridge. I'm going to try this with stone stairs, and there's something at the top I want to try, too. Yeah, so we've been back and forth on a couple of ideas. Not to just, like, you know, shoot your thoughts down, but just... This is, like, the eighth stream I've done on this particular bridge, so... We've exhausted a lot of options. So one idea I had would be to change this and just reverse it with these guys. So where does this go? I've just faced them the opposite direction. So upside down there, upside down there, upside down there. The andesite might be a little bit strange, but Hmm. Still not sure. I'm wondering if, again, in the same way that this was a very simple solution, because of the brutalist kind of approach to this, in terms of the design aesthetic, I wonder if I just knock all these out and just go straight up in the middle here. Like, is that going to be as simple as I think it's going to be? It's not bad <laughs> you know like it's not although it's it's very deep that's the problem like there seems to be no in between i think maybe we need to pick a height for it and i don't think that's it i think maybe if we come down by a, a block or two like if we make it look like it continues along there kind of matches that flow where are we here yeah, so if this was here, I could try that. We try that. And then we leave a block at the bottom. Helpful scaffolding is helpful. Absolutely everywhere. <laughs> Just kidding, but lodestones? Oh yeah, because I have those around. Yep, I think it needs to be solid as it gets closer to the top there. And can I do the same thing here? Scaffolding. I like this approach because it sort of makes it look like a gem that sticks out. I'm not sure what the purpose of it would be other than just look cool. Still waiting for the Daniel table flip emote? Oh yeah, there's lots of emotes that are still being waited for. I feel like this groove makes the tower look too weak. That's why I don't like it. Yeah. 
So then we're back to, you know, do we want to do a wall or something in there? But I don't know. I think it's kind of kind of nice. I don't know about this either. I think maybe this needs to go. Maybe they just have to stay simple. You know, maybe they just have to stay simple. Do have some basalt here somewhere or the corner that I just saw. Some issues up here with the tower that I want to fix. Uh, I guess we'll go cobblestone. Yep, I think we'll just go simple for now because I really want to get to the point where I can wrap this up. I like this change. I think that's pretty good. I'm a little, I'm a little wary that we we didn't like continue with another arch underneath here. Like we could also mimic that arch. We wouldn't be able to do it with tough, but we'd be able to do it with cobblestone. I guess the question is, do we want like a little bit of air going through there? Like the corner, like having a cliff kind of come down through there. But like one thing I could do is like I could make this water like straight through. So like essentially instead of having the line come out around here, it could curve in quite steeply. Which might actually help on the other side. Because the other side has got a custom cliff as well. Right, so over here. So this little bit could be taken away and pushed through. Um, I guess that would defeat that, maybe. Yeah, I like the simplicity too. The other thing you gotta remember too is that it, it's not gonna be just completely, you know, static. We can do you know, moss that comes up. Right, it's like it's not going to be completely boring. You know, and you can add little things like, you know, Cracked bricks here. Right, like stuff like that when you start to add it all in could help. And we could maybe chip out a side, you know, like make you have like a little, you know, cracked and then like maybe just a little detail like that. No, that kind of takes away from it, doesn't it? Try cobblestone, but cobblestone's probably gonna be too bright. Yeah, I mean, it's it's not the... I think it's 
think just keep it simple, right? One thing I do try to do just for my own logic's sake is like, I don't like making moss grow on the shady side of things. I try to always make sure that it's the side that would get sunlight, right? But if we continue some wear and tear up that, I think that it would look okay. We won't overdo it. Simple as best. Yeah, I think this, the, the thing that I got lost in was because I was making this bridge so much bigger than the other bridge that I got lost in the fact that I had so much material that I wanted to do more detail. I still sort of like that. So we might try to add that here and see if that's too much, but I, I like this. So I think what I want to do is I want to translate that over to the other side. So we know what we're working with. So I want to measure this from this block which is the center. I'm just going to go up here on scaffolding. I've got one, two and a half. Then there's a slab stair, full block, stair, stair. So slab, stair, full block, stair, stair. Should be pretty easy to remember. One, two and a half to there. And this is going to be even easier because we only have to do half of it. So slab there. Full block. Stair, stair. So full block was behind it. And these two were stairs. One, two and a half, slab, stair, full block, stair, and stair. Do I have tough? I do. Tough and cobblestone. Where did it go? Now, I don't think there's a way up here. No. Feel like I can ditch the deep slate for now. Yeah, that's interesting. It'd be an interesting shift. That's all good. Oh so, yeah, this cliff might have to come back a little bit here just to work.
so it goes to there. That's probably okay, but I feel like we'd have to like shave this part back. That's why I didn't decorate this side. Yeah, I think this whole thing is going to have to come back. So then we'll add in the rock there, and then maybe the overhang here. So we'll have these bits there and there. No. Back bit. And then this will come back in here. This is probably going to end up being like a um, bush or something. See what I'm doing now completely changing this unfortunately because it looked okay but I think it does I think it does have to go back that far useless rogue subscribing at tier one three months hey that's the water keystone badge happy birthday week to a fellow April baby well I'm not a baby anymore <laughs> I could that, that's for sure um thanks very much I really appreciate the birthday wishes Saturday for people that are new in the stream today and wondering Yep, I think we just need to pull this whole thing down. I don't mean destroy the whole thing. I mean like um, pull as in pull the geometry down in a way that's going to make sense. Yeah, that's not good there. Um, Yeah, that feels a little bit more impassable as well. May or may not look good. We'll have to figure out what to do there. All right. 
so that gets back pulled back to there. Feel like this should maybe be pointed the other way. And then maybe this could be pulled back. So essentially we're just doing the same thing we did on the other side. Pulling everything down, running out of inventory space, you know, the usual. The usual. I know we're going to need more of these soon too. Aldebar, hello. K the River Cat, good to see you. That is a cute teacup kitty emote. I quite like it. That's something else I could try to do on my uh, Discord stream trial would be to um, try a little bit of Photoshop streaming from the PC. I'd have to use an old tablet if I can find it. So we'll have to see. I see the pen. I don't know where the tablet is. All right, I think I'm done with those for now. Dirt, granite. Don't think I need the stairs right this minute. And we've not been using much for those. Oh wait. Some stairs I need. Those ones. So basically I'm on a mission right now to just kind of copy one side to the other. So it's just the stair thing at the top with the andesite and the rest is just straight brick. So that should be pretty straightforward. Starting with this one. Or did we? No, I think we just remove this one entirely. There's one there, one there, and nothing there. Actually, you know, I think I kind of maybe want to just have it on the one side. Because this being half buried, you can't see it anyway. Don't remember what's up there. Right. Oh, that was wrong one. And this had a great big block around the bottom. Whoops. We will texture that later. Still have my bucket. I do. Excellent. Yeah. <sighs> 
as much as I want to have that be stone creeping up, I think it might be the easiest thing to do is just um, have it be grass the whole way. Probably covered up with a bit of a bush hanging over the edge. Make this a lot easier. Of course, I didn't have any grass with me. That was dumb. So I want there, there, I think that should be it. Right, so then we're going to take this back. I put those back too, didn't I? You get overzealous when you're clicking things back into the storage boxes and you're like, nope, I needed that. I wanted these back. Those are not in the right spot either. All kinds of messed up. We were talking about this the other day on on the spawn chunks from Elkhorn who wrote in wanting the andesite polished andesite walls. And I agree. Haha. <laughs> I answered your question before you could ask it, Cosmic. I never thought about these coming back up. That actually is a decent idea too. We don't have to this be have it be one gentle slope the whole way down. We could change this. You would leave that hang over a bit, maybe. Uh, like that. Nope. And that, I think we're going to have to tackle in a different way. Right, so what I was thinking is that this comes back up on this side, and there's no reason why it can't go down here and then come back up a little bit as well. I've made that a little bit more gentle than I originally planned. M subscribing with Prime six months in a row. Six months of West Hill fun. Looking forward to another six. Thanks so much, M. That's really, really kind of you. Six months. That's the Air Keystone badge, the yellow one. Very cool. Now looking back, that resub message looks like something you would write on an anniversary card for a partner. <laughs> six months together, can't wait for another six. <laughs> That's pretty funny. <laughs> Cosmic, you two are being psych psychically connected. <laughs> yeah, I agree, Cosmic. I don't want that either. 
No offense. <laughs> I like my thoughts being my own. Thank you. We're good. So this is where you can kind of lose all kinds of time doing like finicky little bits like that. But for now, I think we can probably just kind of back up and say, you can kind of see what I'm going for, right? So I've got, I've pulled the cliff back. We've got it coming down here and it'll come back up that way. This is going to get shifted over to the tough, the tough cobble combo. Which may need a little bit more tough in the middle. Well, that's kind of stripey, isn't it? Let's maybe break this one. It's a little bit better. I'm trying to add more tough the lower it goes. Because tough to me reads darker. Yep, I think the only thing that needs to happen is a couple of these need to get pulled in a little bit. So right idea. Needs a little bit more, more depth. That might be too straight. I can't tell in the dark. <laughs> no, no offense. Of course not. You know what I mean. You're in a relationship with West Hill Streams? Well, hey, I mean, as a streamer, uh, I can't complain too much about that. Yep. So I think maybe what we need to do is take this one and echo what we did there and then move the other one back even farther. So that's going to have a stair there. We'll go stair there. And then this is going to get pushed back again. So you can sort of see how I'm kind of like gradually going steeper. I messed that up though. This is going to go like that. A little bit better by much. Hopefully that looks okay. Take out these.
So much stone everywhere. Hopefully we're making some progress. How do you approach making a cliff like this to make it look organic unless like a Minecraft player was here? Uh, so you can sort of see, I mean, it's a little bit too even right now, but I guess the first three kind of ridges are a good example where this is at a pretty steep angle. This is at a, a slightly less steep angle. And then this is almost like it's more vertical. Um, it's hard when you get caught up in patterns. You, you kind of have to go out of your way to re really, really break up patterns where you can. It's almost like you got to build things up and chip it away. Yeah. See, this needs to come down like to be very different. I think the other thing too with cliffs is that people get carried away with having like two blocks in a row or something like that. And really, I think you can just, you can go with like two or three in a row, making things steeper. By looking at some of the stuff that Good Times with Scar does, he'll have two or three blocks in a row. Um, Pix does the same thing. Pix Rift does the same thing. Right? Like that seems like a really straight line and it is, but you can play around with like just the proportions. Unfortunately, like a lot of times you're dealing with like one meter differences. So not always the easiest. I mean, a lot of what I'm doing is trial and error. That's why I'm backing up so often, right? I'm not exactly sure how to handle it. So I guess the difference here is that now we're kind of rounding the corner and instead of coming out to the north, we're now kind of going towards the west. And so for that is where I would start to push this back in this direction, right? And we've sort of got a way to like gradually connect this. Oops. So the stairs are a good indicator, right? So the stairs on this side are all facing north where the stairs over here are starting to face the other way. And I would say we may even want to just change this one to face north as well. Oh, that might not work. So that's what I'm trying to avoid. I'm trying to avoid. Yeah, see that to me doesn't look good, right? You've got like all these different vertices are all connected. So that to me is something where the solution there is probably going to be to raise it up a bit. So we'll take this back up to there and change that. And then it feels like it's sort of changing directions. And then we can also add in a little bit more happening down here. But then you want the base to start to gradually go back in steps as well. So a lot of it is just backing up and taking a look, but you can sort of see how you can see, you can kind of see this groove right there. That's, it's like this is kind of going up and around. So in a way, if you're familiar at all with like a contour map in geology, I guess geography, um, where you have different different lines represent different height values, sort of thinking like that. But that doesn't necessarily mean that that line has to be straight across, right? That line could travel up um, from a shape perspective. You want the the height line on a map wouldn't travel up, but contour lines, I guess, 
on a map is maybe not the best example. Contour lands on a on a shape, like a three D object. I think is probably a better better way to look at that. That's the other thing too, you can also have like stuff like this like stick up on the edge. Might work, might not work. Yeah, see I think this is probably gonna get pushed back. So you can see how the river gets very thin, but then it doesn't make sense. So I feel like we're probably going to pull the river back a bit here. So along here, we're probably gonna see more of like a sharper edge. Time to chip away to break, says Cosmic. It is indeed. Oh, that all did surprisingly what I didn't think it was going to do. So I think that's a decent shot at that. Like it's not perfect, but I'll approach that more when I'm detailing things out. But I think that the purpose of changing the direction and shape and location of that cliff to reveal more of that, I think is pretty good. We may, we may want to get rid of that and replace that with like bush kind of overhanging. That's probably going to be the best way to handle that. And you can start to see things that stand out. Like everything looks pretty good except for like that ex extra section right there. I could probably pull that down. Maybe put a stair or a slab on it. Um, any kind of time you can break up the single block. Like see for example here. We've got a block and a half, single block, and then we've got two blocks and a stair. And that looks fairly natural, right? Then you get over here and it looks like Minecraft, right? And so like that's the kind of thing that you want to try and remove, I guess. It sounds counterintuitive, but... Anytime you can kind of give the illusion of the grid breaking in Minecraft, is it really kind of helps with any kind of immersion, I think. Uh, once again, we're going to take a small break. If you enjoy the stream, please tell a friend, and uh, we'll be back in five or six minutes.
All right, let's see what else we need to copy from one side of the bridge to the other. And I don't have my bow with me. So we've got uh, the stone bits at the top. Oh, I need to copy that. Um, copy that top part to be thicker again. I'm gonna need more walls. Uh, Why do I have, oh, because I ripped them out. Like, why do I have polished into, uh, walls? Those are, right, okay. <laughs> Just don't look at creepers, they'll eventually go away. So here's a good example of where we could use some stairs to smooth that out a little bit. that there and then pop this out here Like that. And again, here I feel like I want to take this down a little bit. Or maybe not. Maybe it was fine where it was. Yeah, I guess it was okay. Uh, we have the drain holes there. Do we want to keep those? Or do we want to try to do the uh, detail work that we did over here? So we've got that kind of detail work. And I wonder if that would look good up along the top there. So it's three stairs and then it's just a sideways stair. That's pretty simple actually. And then this part here is just the sideways stair there, which I think I have. Nope. Do I not have them? I guess I do. You like the detail line? Yeah, it's different too, right? Which is like, you know, something that we've not done. I tried to do that with most of these builds. Even if they've got like repetitive elements that we've done in other areas, I try to at least you know, come up with some new stuff. So there are goes one, two, three, four, five, and we've got that goes there, this goes sideways, and then and then this one just changes to a regular stair. Oh, gonna change that too though. A regular brick stair, I should say. Like a soul. And then this way. Nope. Oh, come on.
Too bad you can't hold shift on scaffolding to keep yourself from falling off. That would be too useful. So it looks a little bit funny there for some reason. I don't know why. These are larger spans. Like these are only two blocks wide. And then these are three. Right? What could we do there to make it look a little bit different? I guess it's the same. It just looks a little bit funny here because it's so short before it goes up. All right, so we'll do that on both sides. Oop. Not from down here, I won't. How did I do it this way? Is it just straight in? I think it's just straight in. Whoops, that's not right. Like that, and then this just keeps on going along. Ooh. Oh, no, it's going to get covered up anyway. That's fine. Am I going to run out of stairs? I'm going to run out of stairs. One short. Really? No. I'm not sure why. <laughs> I just... I always end up messing this stuff up whenever I'm just trying to just accomplish something. I just feel like every time I try to place a block, it goes wrong. Uh, this is a stair block that way. Yes. Yeah, that's right. I think that's right. Why does it not look right? Under, yeah, that's right. That's what I've got. Could be just the light, I guess. Really? I had this happen to me earlier today in Satisfactory too. I had missed a spot.
I had to pillar back up to delete something that was like left floating in the air looking terrible. There's always one. There is always one. That's something that I really, I hope I don't find is like when this is eventually done, uh, one of the things that's going to happen is, is Johnny Pixel Riffs is going to come on. We're going to do a little walkthrough. And I really hope that I just don't forget something, like leave something blank or forget a texture or there's like a dirt block lodged in a wall somewhere that I didn't catch, like that kind of stuff. I really hope that's not the case. Almost did it again, but I fell. Is that? Oh, it's just a dirt block floating there. That's annoying. I uh, wonder if I can get that. Yep. So that is what we are going with for now for the detail on the bridge. I don't know if it reads well from far away, but what we've got. And you know, that cliff isn't too bad. Like it needs some work over here, but overall it's not terrible. There is a cave in there. Huh. Did not know that. And I guess it would be out here. like that makes sense and then we'll do a little bit of like overhang and stuff like that on that side in the same way that we did it over here so we'll have something like that kind of come down but instead of going off on the side I think what we'll do here is that we'll have it come down um, probably probably right here a little bit and then and then probably in the middle and we'll have to work out what's going to happen in there but that's not bad like i mean this is still needs a little bit of work um but and this needs a little bit of smoothing out but this this part here i feel pretty happy with obviously it starts to lose its form in through there but it's the kind of thing that i could end up doing for like three hours straight just in here so i, I have to be careful not to like let myself get too carried away and something else i'll probably end up doing once the shape is done it's very easy to go in and replace some of these with andesite so that it looks like it's got some more texture similar to what's going on up here you know uh, we'll leave the cobble and and um tough and stuff out of it 
but I think that's pretty effective. I think that helps the top part of the bridge immensely. This is a little bit strange. It kind of goes into nothing, but like the, there's the cliff there. That's why it's there. Um, yeah, I don't know. I don't know what else we could do here. I mean, obviously what needs to happen in these areas are like, you know, a handful of cracked bricks, that kind of thing. Um, I might remove that rock there just so it's not confusing. There are still a few little bits like that left, but a lot of it is custom landscape now. Like I feel like the bridge, with the exception of the textures, you know, like adding in, you know, our little bits of cracked stone uh, in places where we need it and, and any kind of bushes that might be like along here, right? I feel like we've got a decent handle on on this. I like this side better. I feel like this is more clear. I almost want uh, that to kind of continue down into there. I'm wondering if I did this and I curved that back down a bit, if it would look good. And I like this. I, th I didn't think I was going to like this, but we'll, we'll have to come up with a way to make this look a little bit more interesting. But I, I like the, again, the very solid nature of it. Um, need some textures and stuff in through here, but Barring that pretty good. And then same thing here. We've got a very standard kind of Minecraft looking cliff. And I think with a couple of stairs and a couple of slabs, we can start to break up all these vertices that are meeting and just kind of like create a little bit more of a, of a more natural looking cliff, kind of like what I've done over here. Right. So that's on the docket. Uh, if Exumavoid is still live, I'm going to send you all over to them. Uh, it is time for me to wrap up. I have got to go to the gym. Keep myself moving around uh it's uh always fun to hang out with everybody and it is an absolute pleasure to have such a wonderfully generous community so thank you very very much for all the support today the gift subs the bit bombs the hype train truly truly appreciate it you all are awesome make sure to mark it on your calendar uh this week is my birthday week birthday is saturday friday the 28th is going to be the lego unboxing stream i've got a number of packages that were sent in from you all and i'm very excited to see what is in them some of them are big boxes folks you're not going to want to miss friday stream that's for sure there's a new episode of the spawn chunks out that's out at the spawnchunks.com or wherever you listen to your favorite podcasts i am still editing my latest tcc it's been in the hopper for like three weeks i'm not exactly proud of it but we're going to have to get it out sooner than later. So that's what I'm doing tonight after the gym. You can, of course, follow me here and follow me on social media at Joel Duggan. Very easy to find. I'll be back again tomorrow, one o'clock Atlantic UTC minus three hours. Bye for now. See you then.